Hello everybody, I'm Baz and I want, I'm a women's health coach and I want to talk to you today about ways that you can adapt really typical exercises that you'd find in boot camps or might do with your trainer or might want to do to the gym that might not necessarily be great for your pelvic floor but there's some really simple fixes and things that you can do to make them really pelvic floor safe and just much more focused on that core. So I'm going to look at four exercises today which I think you'll all be really really familiar with and I'm going to look at the technique of them and how we can make them pelvic floor friendly. Okay so we're going to start with a Russian twist. All right, so um, a Russian twist is essentially uh, knees bent, sitting up, and you might have, um, and sometimes people ask you to take your feet off, sometimes people ask you to have like a weight or a med ball or something like that in, the, in your hands. So I would suggest that you all start in seated on your sit bones and with your tummy long, okay, so I don't want you to squeeze anything, I just want your tummy to be long and connected. And if you can lean back, lean back, but don't, don't stress about that too much. What we're going to do is I want your, um, I don't want your tummy to pooch out. By that I mean it kind of goes hard and you're creating tension by your tummy popping. So find the position where, which you can hold, which might just be here, without a poochy tummy. And then all we're going to do, is we're going to do the movement, and we are going to exhale as we rotate, all right? So we're going to Okay, feel good? Now, can you, what you'll get, tend to get in the gym is some awesome, really enthusiastic, young, fit PT or fitness instructor say, take your legs off, take your legs off. Let's do that and feel what happens. Take our legs off. My tummy has immediately pooped, so I'm like, no, thank you very much. That doesn't work for me. But if you can hold your core long, okay, without pooching and and it feels okay in your lower back, then go for it. But I would suggest that that's a pretty strong exercise, okay? So I would, I think that here, maybe with a two kilo dumbbell, if you can, three, four, five, whatever you want. But we have to keep the length in our core, exhaling as we go. So there we go, Russian twist, you know how to do them now. Next one, leg lowers, okay? So lying on your back generally, feet up, in a boot camp situation or a fitness class, you might be told, okay, and let's lower our legs, boom, and you're like, and your tummy's popped, your back's come off, and you definitely held your breath. Those things are absolutely no good. So. We need to be able to keep a long core, which you can still do even though you're on your back, and we need to be able to breathe, okay? So put your hands underneath your bottom, and let's do one leg. And let's take it, regress it right back so it's a bent leg. So we're going to exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Good, all right. Feel okay? Let's do that with a straight leg. Inhale, exhale. That for me is just about right. Okay, I used to be an international athlete. Yes, I've had two children and I'm 40. I'm pretty fit and healthy, but there is absolutely no way ugh, that I can do that. It feels awful, my back pops, my tummy pooches. And so I would just say to a PT or anyone I'm working with, thanks very much, but if it's okay with you, I'll just do it singularly. The, the quality of your work is much better if we can inhale, exhale, and if you are breathing, it means you are protecting your vaginal wall, which is what we all absolutely 100% need. So there you go, leg lowers. Um, a dead bug, kind of a variation on that theme, isn't it? So the dead bug, off, off, we're in a sort of tabletop position, okay? I've got the sofa behind me, so I can't extend my hands, but this is what you'll be doing. Uh, sorry, opposite hand to foot, yeah, together. Now, that might be too much, so you might want to together, 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 good. All right. Um, if you want to make it harder, then you take those legs up uh, longer and that arm out longer, but you must keep that core connection. You must keep your core long, 
not not uh, grippy long and you must be able to exhale okay or some people might want you to do two legs oh uh, but again my tummy pops my back comes off no way okay so that's how you do the dead bug and a plank classic 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 okay so either on um on your hands yeah or your elbows if you can breathe and your back's not shaking and your tummy's not shaking awesome all right and you've kind of like more or less got a nice sort of strong position like this if you're back here if you're up here if you're here and shaking away and mm, you've got this kind of mm, <laughs> feeling on your lips that is no good okay no good for pelvic floor health so either go into sort of a moving plank situation where you're coming up up down down creating a wee bit of movement that's still a pretty advanced exercise or kind of hire yourself up on a table a bench a squat rack so you can hold that position there that's a really lovely way to progress your your plank down because you're starting from a you can you can start as high as you want and you train the whole core as opposed to being on all fours in which you're not really training the whole core so the two take-home messages are you must be able to breathe freely and easily throughout the whole movement yeah and we want so and we want to exhale on the work and absolutely no poochie tummies i really hope that helps if you've got any questions and please do email me